What's up guys? So this week we're going to go adventuring. We're about to leave the Dominican probably in the next month or so, probably by the latest, and we want to make sure we see everything that we can. So right by our boat, probably less than a mile away, they have like these little trails that were like built up for some like resort, I think. And now it's like, it never was fully built. There might be like one house we heard from other cruisers that might have that, so that's exciting. And also they have like a blowhole, so we're gonna go check that out today. Yeah, we're gonna try to go check out the old abandoned properties, check out the scenery, check out some caves. I'm feeling a lot better because I was ill last week, if you don't know, peep last week's uh, episode. But if you do know, I'm feeling a lot better and I'm out here trying to just see what the DR has to offer. Hopefully no uh, no infestations this time. <laughs> There's also tarantulas, so hopefully we see one of those. Ooh, I would love to catch a tarantula. No, no, you're not gonna catch it. You've already been sick. I'm catching it. I'm catching it if I see it. Anyways, come along with us. So they have these little rock paths. I think it was part of what they were planning on for the resort. So we're gonna follow them. They go along the water, and there's also like a main road that I think is for cars to drive to the resort. So what's our plan? Take the trail down. We'll watch out for that cow poo. Ah! And then the main, the main road back. There's a lot of cow poo and stuff around, so we'll see. I'm waiting. I sprayed my whole entire body in bugs. <gasps> I thought I saw a tarantula, but it wasn't a tarantula. Do you keep hearing the tarantula? It was All I hear is skitter scatter in the leaves, and I think it's a tarantula. It was just lizards, I think. All right, guys, so I tried to follow the trail, but a whole tree fell down, so I got my walking stick. Your boy's about to pole vault right over it. Yeah. Should you be doing this in your health? Perfect, perfect landing. All right, so a lot of times in the trees, you might see a big chunk of dirt. That's not a chunk of dirt. It's not, it's a big chunk of dirt. It's a big ass termite mound right there in the, they set up right in the tree and then they just eat the whole tree around. We just saw a snake and Matt's trying to look for it. I don't know why, seems like a bad idea. Yeah, he's gone. All right, so we found the place. There's 500 gnats in my eyeballs. We're gonna go venture in. In America, there's probably like a whole bunch of homeless people living in it. Here, probably not so much, right? But maybe some Maybe wild some animals. cows. It's cow poop. Well, we don't know if it's a cow. But I'm going back to my old tracking days in the Boy Scouts and I'm gonna go. Ew, stop! Yep. You did not scoop it. <laughs> I did scoop it. That's why you got parasites. For it. 
right guys, welcome to my house. This is the house tour of Kristen in the Dominican. I just got this great house built. Things are going well for me. This is my front patio. We got more to come here. Don't mind the cow poo poo smell. All right, follow me into the rest of the house. All right, so this is our living room and it looks like my cows got wild and they had an accident over in this. This looks like my front area. What do you call one of those front rooms, Matt? Um, front room? Florida room? No. <laughs> that's the back room. Ooh. Yeah, that's just street cow poop, RP. So let's keep going, guys. Don't worry, I heard it helps the cement go. This is my lookout for all the... Okay, there's my old shoes there that I forgot back in there. And I look out and I say, hey guys, Come on over, we're having a barbecue. All right, so we've had enough of the lower half of our new house. We're gonna go ahead and run up these stairs, which are beautiful stairs. They look dangerous. There's like some stones, they look a little dangerous. No, no handrail, so uh, we're just gonna go up here and see what's up. There's a tree on our front stairs. A tree's over here. There is a tree. I like that, very green. People pay a lot of money for that. It makes you just wonder, why did they start building this and then stop? <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe this was the clubhouse. Clubhouse. Maybe this was just a clubhouse. No, it seems like they were building a resort and this was their first model and they just stopped building it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like the clubhouse of the resort. Oh, look at this view though, boy. That's worth every penny right there. I don't get a view like that every damn day. So there's several bats in this hallway. And I swear to God, if one of them comes at me, wow. No, you are not. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't even know why I'm whispering. But there's some giant moths <laughs> in here. <laughs> He's a creepy bastard. He flies around this creepy Oh, there he circle. is. He flies in that room and he flies back. Is there more than one oh, though? Shit. Oh. Ew, it smells like death's doom in here. Oh God! Oh, there's one hanging. Oh sh! Where? Right there. Where? Right there. Where? Oh. Can you see him up there? He's getting ready to fly. Oh! 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 oh. They're coming at me. They're coming, They're coming at us. Oh, those things are creepy. Why are bats creepy though? Why are bats creepy, guys? I don't really know. Because they kill just... his parents. It makes, I feel like life has made you believe bats are creepy and that they're gonna like fly on you and start sucking your neck blood. Yeah, life made you believe that. Life did. Mm -hmm. TV. Oh, oh shoot. Yeah. All right. Let's see you go out and see this action. Go through the bats. Go through the bats? Go through them. I'll film it for you. And go. You go right through the bats. Don't be a wussy. You need more parasites. Don't leave me in here. There's some wasps nest. There's a big ass moth. Oh, Aww, he's pretty cute. I saw his little face that time. And what did his face look like? Um. Just make the face with your face so I can tell what the face looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it did you not. Know, he did not. Uh, <laughs> no, he did not. He doesn't have eyebrows to even do that. Shoot. Again. Oh shoot. Yeah, he goes like this. <laughs> You're a creep, that's being the thumbnail. Oh, I'm walking through him. I ain't got no fear in my heart. If one hits my back and starts sucking my blood, hit it with that stick. I don't care if I get a concussion. 
Holy crap. So you're gonna use the phone flash. Oh crap. Let's see if I can zoom in y'all. I don't have that great of a zoom lens. Oh wow, he does look kind of cute. I'm telling you, they are cute. Okay, so that was the tour of our house. Hope you guys liked it. Looking forward to having everybody over. And the real owner showed up. Yeah, the real Maybe not the real owners, but people with a cooler showed up. Dominican people. Yeah, some uh, some locals rolled up with a cooler and just rode their motorcycle right in the middle of my living room. <laughs> I was a little upset about that, but you know, whatever, I'll allow it. This path is actually the path that I run every few mornings. I try to keep up with my exercise living on a boat and I run about a mile. But I'm trying to work on it so I can start stepping up my miles. I'm really not that athletic. She broke her personal record, which was one mile in under 10 minutes. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that great. <laughs> so if you've run a faster mile than that or a slower mile, be proud of your accomplishments. Let her know in the comments below. Keep her motivated for that personal best mile. Her personal best was nine minutes and 30 seconds. Hey, quit sharing my She's breaking records that's personal her. information. This is personal business I'm sharing because I, I, you know, your fan, your YouTube fam's gonna come together and motivate you to really blaze that path. <laughs> Whatever. So we're walking down this path trying to get to the blowhole, and I'm thinking, what if like I always think this in my head, maybe I'm crazy. What if like people came up on their motorcycles and tried to kidnap me? And I said, Matt, would you be able to handle them? Would you use the stick that you're using or would you go to your fist where you have skill at? And what did you say? I said, I said, I'll hit him with the stick, of course. I said, I'll go like this, bam, right to the face with the stick because if you swing it like this, it's just gonna hit him like that and then they're gonna grab it and you're, you're wrestling, you know, if it's more than one or two guys, you're wrestling with all of them, you're gonna get beat up. But if you go like this, bang, right to the face, they can't grab that tip. So what about go, the other guy that's trying to punch you in the head? You go like this, bang. And then when he tries to come from over here, then I go, bah! And what about the guy from behind you? You go here, okay. So first guy, to the face. His friend is coming, bang! Behind you guys, bang! <laughs> Flip him over. Then you go, yeah, I don't know about that. Bro, check out my skills. I could do it. <laughs> All right, I'll accept it. special tree. This tree is called a sunburn tree because it looks like it's sunburned. Um, how do you how do you know that? Janice told me. Janice is my friend. She said this is called the sunburn tree. So you sound like you're five years old. Now you guys know that there's a sunburn <laughs> tree out here in the DR. This is a big crack in the formation. Oh, you see that wind that blows up? Marilyn Monroe? If I was Marilyn Monroe, I'd be killing it right now. But I'm not. As you can see, 
we made it to the blowhole. I already got wet trying to get my Instagram shot. So anybody who follows me on Instagram, I hope you enjoy these shots that Matt took that we risked our lives. We didn't risk our lives. Don't tell them that. I did. I risked it. Those rocks are razor sharp. <laughs> Anyways, it's really beautiful out here. Woo! The water's going high. The light, the sun is going down. So it's almost backlighting it though. So the light's a little bright, but it's pretty yeah. awesome. But don't worry because your boy Maddie is feeling a lot better today and he's gonna take you right into the what is it the the bosom the, the bosom of the beast <laughs> taking you right into the bosom of the beast all right here we go Baby doll blew out a flip flop, so I gotta, I gotta fix that right now. Well, we just soaked our camera. Big wave came and splashed over the rocks and soaked the good camera. So if you're seeing this, this is probably the last. Uh, Last clip we ever got on this bad boy. No, if you're seeing this, that means it worked. It still works for now, but we'll see how long it lasts. All right, guys, so it's the next day. We got the camera soaked by the blowhole, so we didn't panic. We went home in the dinghy. Matt started Googling. I said, oh, shoot. I started taking apart the lens, taking out the battery, trying to save the card, so hopefully we could save the video. And then we went to town on Q-tipping and alcohol swabbing and drying and blowing out water the, from the... Sorry, our neighbors are flying with their dinghy. Hold, please. Okay, so we then, after all of that, a lot of water came out of the buttons. The buttons weren't working right, so we panicked. This is our only camera. We also have a GoPro, and that's all we really got. So we hurried up, put it in some rice, and then waited till the next morning, and so far so good it seems a little off but it's working so we're thankful for that it's probably pushing us in the direction of having to upgrade our camera which we probably should already because both of our cameras are pretty old yeah so if you know any great ones let us know the sony a6000 has been pretty good to us thus far but yeah we uh we could do an upgrade Probably. We, we, we probably should at this point. We've had the channel for creeping up on a year now, almost a year. It's time to, you know, take this shit a little more seriously. <laughs> All right, guys, so thanks for watching the video. Oh, we sorry to interrupt your spiel, but I gave myself this haircut and it's really badass. I don't know if you can see it, if it's showing on camera, but it's pretty cool. Oh, it's showing on camera. I'm pretty hyped People on can it. see that from a mile away. Yeah, you know, people have been talking about my fashion for a while now, so I decided to jazz it up a little bit and I give myself a swag swag haircut. And a mustache. The, I got the cool mustache going on now, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you think I should like shave a zigzag in the side, because I really want to. So she says if I can get a thousand thumbs ups, 
on my zigzag that she'll let me do it. So if you guys could help me out, uh, that really we, a lot we normally always get a thousand thumbs up. No, no, I mean a thousand like thumbs up on the zigzag. Like someone just comments zigzag and then a thousand thumbs up on the zigzag. <laughs> That's never gonna happen. Anyways, make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below. I have, I'm gonna comment something funny for you guys to read. It's between me and you guys. Matt's not involved in it. And I- Zigzag. No, it's not zigzag. Oh. All right, bye guys.